up? This is Recreational 420, and today we're going to be checking out this Dope Premium Brands pre-roll by Dope, obviously. And the uh, strain is Gorilla Glue. THC comes in at 28.43, and that's pretty much all the info they give you. I like the logo. I mean, obviously, this whole thing looks real nice. It's really, like, presentable. Um, but, so, here's the thing. I haven't done a pre-roll review in a long time, and basically... I'm gonna start doing them again because I realize that while I may not necessarily pick up and smoke pre-rolls myself, the newbie consumer, this is all they pick up for the most part. This and cartridges. So those two things I'm gonna start trying to do more reviews for. And so this is just kind of like the first step towards that um, kind of like baby project. It's just, in all honesty, like, if I'm really trying to target the, the newbie consumer, I need to be reviewing the products that the newbie consumer is is consuming the most. So it just makes sense. And um, so some of you guys may not like it. Some of you guys will. I'm still going to do bud and oil just as I do now, but I'm just going to start including these a lot more because I do buy them occasionally, but like I said, not, not as often. Um, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and open this. So pop this up and that's really cool it just this whole thing is just presented really really well so first of all we got this it says don't worry you're dope wow thank you <laughs> all right so this is what we got here and so this is a little bit hmm, this is not bad um i, I recommend that you massage all of your pre-rolls and then pack them down like this um just to like help smoke or help it help it smoke evenly um and not canoe and if you don't know what canoe is is like when you start smoking it and then like one side just starts to go and th that happens quite a bit actually so one of the things that i also recommend is just don't even bother with this and just like pour it into a bowl and smoke it that way so it's really up to you sometimes it's just nice to have a joint though so with all that i'm gonna go ahead and try this and i'll be back again with you guys in a couple of days to let you know how this went hey guys what's up so i went ahead and tried that gorilla goo number four by dope and as far as the flavor is concerned i would not like i didn't like it <laughs> it was harsh um, as soon as you hit it from the very first inhale it was just a really harsh unpleasant flavor that just kept getting worse and worse as you went through it um, and this is a three quarters of a gram joint so that's like even more than I, I typically don't I don't buy gram joints because it's like a chore to smoke those things um, so I, I like half grams I bought this one I was really excited um, but once I got through it at about the halfway point I was like man I don't really want to smoke this but I already bought it so I kind of have to and it like I said it was just kept getting worse and worse um, it, it just it wasn't it wasn't very good and, and it was kind of disappointing because it's labeled as a flower only joint which I mean it if if you have flour that tastes like that please don't put it out on the market <laughs> um, it, it's just it's not a good experience for the end user um, <clears throat> But with all this, that said about the the flavor, the high itself was actually a really good kind of like uplifting sativa like high. It was clear headed, um, wide awake. You were energetic. Um, I think we were sitting down kind of like we'd lost our like funk for the day. We were just chilling and um, we smoked it. And like, of course, the taste was hard to go through. But once we were through that, like we got up, we perked up, we were moving around and it just it gives you kind of like an energy shot which is strange for cannabis but very very helpful <laughs> um, so I mean I this is a tough one for me because I did enjoy the high but the flavor was like so disappointing that I, I have to say I wouldn't recommend it um, just because I, I personally wouldn't pick it up again um, there's I, I just can't <laughs> and and th it's hard for me to say these like do these like negative videos because I, I love cannabis like I like cannabis and so when I have to say that it, this isn't good um, in my head I'm thinking about the, the random user who's gonna look at this and say man well that wasn't good what if everything's like that and so it just it, it hurts a little bit to have to do these but at the same time if I don't do these and I say this is the best product out there you guys go try it and you're like this is crap you're gonna come back to my page and tell me hey bro you're kind of a liar <laughs> so I have to do what I have to do for the audience and that's really 
um, who I'm here for. I've always like made sure that I let you guys know that I'm here for you guys and I'm representing the consumers uh, more than the brands. So anyway, this has been Recreational 420. If you enjoy what I'm doing, go ahead and hit that sub button. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you follow the page and I'll be back again with you guys soon.